Hello, this is Al from Obusel Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Hamhub, a social media script. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share. The more you share, the more videos you can do. So let's go to Hamhub uh, website where you can actually download your script. You can also Install Hamhub using Softaculous if you have a cPanel. It's very simple to install. There are two versions. Is the version that is the professional edition and is the community edition. The one we're going to use is the totally free one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on zip and I'm going to download the actual file. Over here, of course, you can actually download all the version if you wanted to. So let's uh, initiate the download and I'm going to save it a copy on my uh, desktop. So I'm going to press save. And that's it. The actual file has been downloaded. So now let's start the installation process. I'm going to have a look inside the folder you got two options here you can actually extract the zip and then upload it every single file using for example filezilla an ftp client or you can use a file management or even still you can use a filezilla upload the actual zip file and then using the decompress option that would be the actual easier way but as you can see, I'm um, extracting the files, even though I'm going to close it because I'm going to show you how to upload the actual zip file itself. Here we go. So now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm uh, going to add a new domain. This is going to be a local domain so I can use it for the installation. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm also going to open my DNS server. Of course, once you buy your own domain, you got to do this step with your domain registrar. All you got to do is point your domain to the server IP. And this is exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm back to the CWP. I'm going to call it social.local. This is going to be my domain. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to save it. So I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going back to my DNS server where I'm going to add the entry with the actual IP of the server. In this case, it's going to be 192.168.1234. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going back and restart the server. This step, logically, you don't need to do it. Your provider will do everything for you for that. So I'm going to close this one and I'm going to start the installation. So here, what I'm going to do, I already open a new tab where I'm going to call it social. Open secure as I'm not using SSL, and as you can see, the page, the index page has been created by CWP panel. Again, it will be do exactly the same if you got plus OC panel. So we already downloaded the zip file. Here you can find all the documentation on how to install and the you know all the information how to actually set up as well. I'm gonna show you the basic setup and installation as well. So once I do that, I got the file ready. We got the page and the domain set properly. Now I'm going to file manager where I am going to the HTML, uh, actually the public HTML of the 
domain, as you can see, a social dot local. I'm going to delete index HTML. And then I'm going to upload the zip file. So we'll click on upload now. I can uh, drag and drop or just open in a browser. So here we go. Let me drop in the file inside. It's not that big, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't take that long. Let me close this. Here we go, 100% uh, now. And uh, let's go back to the main browser. I'm gonna press X. And as you can see, the zip file is there. Now I'm going to press decompress, press OK, and just wait a few seconds. So the actual folder was also created. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to select all. And then I'm going to move it to the root of the actual domain. And I'm going to press OK. There we go. So let's delete those two files. We don't need that anymore. And I'm going to press delete. Press OK. Job is done. So once everything has been uploaded, I'm going to refresh the page. And as you can see, the welcome installation page has been done. So here we go now. Uh, the logo didn't show up because I got some uh, blockers on the actual browser. But it looks everything is fine. So I'm going to next. And here I'm going to add the database information. I already know that the host name is going to be localhost. Now I'm going to add the database name called social. I'm going to add also a user with the same name. You want to create different uh, the database using longer uh, using numbers and um, letters. And of course, make sure your password is also strong. I'm going to give all the privileges. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to press save. I'm going to copy that first before uh, it's too late. Here we go. I'm going to paste it. And now I'm going to paste the other two information. That is the database name and the username name. Because I usually use both the same for a tutorial to make it just easy for myself. All I'm going to do is just copy once and paste for both username and database. Then I'm going to press next. And we go to the next step. It's already initialized in the database. It shouldn't take long. So here we go. Uh, installation has been done. I'm going to press never here. We don't need that. Then the name of the network. I'm going to call it my social media hub. And I'm going to press next. Here you can choose for which purpose you want to use it. I'm going to use it for my community, for myself, but you got multiple options here. And I'm going to press next. Here I also have more options. You can have external use to use it, uh, show registration from logins, so on and so forth. If you want to make it just for a few people, you know, for your small community, you can just uh, disable your uh, registration part of it. There are already uh, modules, but I already got this one, the birthday, the polls, the mail, and the most active users. And I'm going to press next, of course. And uh, as you can see, it's already downloading and install, installing all the modules.
here I'm going to create the admin username and password. Now I'm going to use admin and um, again, don't use admin for if you know if you're going to do this properly, make sure you got a proper username that is a mix between uh, numbers, letters and symbols. Also on the password, make sure you got a strong password. So once happy, I'm going to create admin account. For this demonstration, I'm going to download the ZAMP example uh, content so you can actually see something there rather than me go and uh, show you how to do it. But some content is already there. You can see the way it works. This is more or less like, uh, I don't know, a very small clone of Facebook, if you want to call it that way. It's pretty good done and, you know, you can do a lot. Here you can join the network, you can create a new user, you can log in with, you know, the actual uh, login credential that you have. As you can see here, I got the administration, say now there. And as you can see, I can go to admin and this is, looks like just like, I don't know, Facebook, really. I mean, I'm not a uh, big fan of Facebook myself, but uh, it looks like f Facebook. Here you can have... Uh, messages and you can go to your space you can create space for example i remember myspace actually it might be something like myspace here you can do a lot of things really i mean you can create business pages people's you know um personal spaces or pages there we go here i'm gonna click on that one here you can go to the dashboard and that will be like all the information and all the feed from other users of course you can follow other users if you want to and here is the directory of the members you can also search and add friends if you want to or you can actually follow rather than just become a friend if you wanted to now let's go to the admin side well, before that, you go spaces here. I forgot about this part of it. Um, you go members, spaces, and user profile. So let's go for the search. Yeah, you can search anything from these pages. This will be between pages, posts, and people as well. We go now to my profile. This is a each account have a profile here you can actually edit your account and you can add photographs avatar and so on and so forth of course you can also change your uh, account and also you i think you could do privacy and security information now as you can see here here you can change your username change your email and passwords and also you can delete the account Let's go back to the general. That's the standard information, name, surname, title, address, if you want to put to birthday and rest. Here is all the communication, all the information that you need, phone numbers, address, uh, social media uh, links, if you want to, and all the activities here as well. You can actually, you know, each person can actually move what kind of a messages they want to receive. Just like, as I said, all the notifications you get with Facebook. As you can see, there is a lot here. We got some basic settings, time zone, language, and if you want to be seen by everyone or just registered people. And that's it, really. Uh, we got all the information we need here you can actually add new users and also you can export users in C uh, csv and excel i think it was you can send invite or you can actually do just add a normal user all right in the manner 
administration menu, you can actually manage all spaces, all the pages for each user. You can make it private, so you can make it whatever you want it. Here you can install new modules. There are many of those already. Uh, four as the one we installed earlier on in the installation. And here you can find quite a few of them. You can actually integrate a lot of things here. As you can see, there's loads of them. You can even have a AdSense, Steam. Let's install AdSense. Here you can actually monetize the website if you want to. And it's quite good. If you're running your own advertising on this and you've got a lot of people using. It's very simple, you know, just click on install and then you go to modules and you just add your code that you get from the AdSense, really. Let's have a look at another module. You can also buy it. Uh, I think they're not listed, but I think you can buy off their website. And also, if there's any updates, you can actually do the updates from that page in the advanced mode. Here you got the appearance. You can change the theme, even though there's only one available. But I think you can actually download some on their web, you know, from their website. Here is the actual logo and the icons if you want to update that. So let's go to the notification again and uh, and advance. There are also statistics once everything starts and you can add, for example, uh, the Google statistics if you want to, or you can run your own statistics script like Mamoto, I think it's called, or Mamoto. Here you can actually upgrade to professional edition if you wanted to, but again, the Community edition is pretty good. I'm running in debug mode just because of the installation. When I go live, there is a way to uh, disable the debug mode and you go live. And here you got all the information who logs in and logs out as well. All right, guys, so I uh, hope you enjoy this small tutorial. I hope you subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Don't forget to like and share. The more you share the videos and the more views I get, the more tutorials I can actually make. So again, don't forget to also to click on the bell icon so you get notified for new tutorials. And I'll see you next time, guys.